there's just a really great intellectual atmosphere here. Our undergraduate students are the best in the world and that has to do with the culture at the University of Alberta around teaching and learning. Alison Bechtel, or the narrator of this book, has a very conventional coming out story. Then we have professors project. who are really engaged with their material and with the students. And it's an institution where teaching and research feel to me really well integrated. The community is awesome. The people are all focused and excited about what they're learning about. The literature is very diverse and lots of fun. I like the professors and the energy and enthusiasm that they bring to their classes. The teachers have such a breadth of knowledge. They're coming with their research interests, but they're coming and applying it in fresh new ways. And they're bringing such diverse critical currents to the materials that we study. And you have like really exciting classroom discussions. And I feel like coming out of high school, this is what really sets apart high school from the university experience, because you're seeing people that actually participate in class. They actually care about what's going on. They have a clue about what they read. You'll be introduced to so many different things that really challenge whatever you, ideas you have going into your program. The onlooker peers through a window raised many feet above the ground, accepting In the, the creative writing class, I have made so many self-discoveries. Every time you write something and you analyze it and you go back and you work on it some more, you learn a little bit about yourself. It seemed to me to be kind of the master discipline of the humanities in that we get to study film, we get to study pop culture, political science, sociology, philosophy, history, gender studies. Pretty much everything is contained when you're talking about human culture, which is what English is about. An English degree is your passport to almost any job. I can tell you, as somebody who reads other people's press releases, that the ability to write succinctly and clearly is a surprisingly rare gift. Uh, the ability to write well and to read critically and analytically with those in your toolbox, you can go on to do anything else that you want to do, whether that's to be a novelist, an academic, a lawyer, a teacher, just a citizen of the world. Right now, I am a, an associate producer and writer on Heartland, season seven. You get a lot of feedback when you're, when you're doing a, an English degree. Uh, and uh, you, know, you have to learn how to interpret that feedback and use it to make your writing better. And that's also a huge part of what I do because I get notes from producers, I get notes from broadcasters, I get notes from actors, I get notes from actors' dogs. So I think you know, doing an English degree prepared me for that. And we're going to move to the dance of love that's going on between these various people, which is going to end up being a dance of death also. Film studies program at the University of Alberta and in the Department of English and Film Studies uh, offers a BA major and a BA minor. Uh, academically speaking, we have the best program in Alberta, for sure. Do you feel like there's two different orders of truth in these two films? Students who are interested in film and media and really want to get a critical handle on how they work. There's four fantastic faculty members who can offer varying perspectives. I'm a double major in English and Film Studies at the U of A and I studied here because there's a huge range of genres and histories that you get from your profs and you get to know your profs very well and the other students. <laughs> it's such a great community and it's such a great place to be a part of.